Over the next seven days, I'll be sharing with you three videos a day around um, around SharePoint and the basics of SharePoint. So if you had to add that up at five minutes each, I'll be uh, going through understanding SharePoint in layman's terms in under two hours. So definitely worth it to follow if, uh, if you want to learn more about SharePoint and you just want to get the hang of uh, how things fit into each other and, uh, and what it's meant for. So the first uh, little session today is about what is SharePoint. Now, <laughs> believe me, I've gone through a lot of conferences and you always get a different answer because SharePoint is what it means to you. So people use SharePoint different as well. People also use SharePoint incorrectly, sadly, or maybe let me rephrase that, they might not use it to its full potential. So for me to explain SharePoint to my students normally, I, uh, I tell them that they've kind of been working on SharePoint all their life and they just didn't know it. So what would be a good example of SharePoint? So I'm going to bring across uh, the SharePoint site and uh, I'm of course using office.com uh, to just log into my portal and this is SharePoint Online. I don't want you to worry if you're a SharePoint on-premise like 2013 or 2016 or something. The basics are going to be the same. It's important that you understand the basics of SharePoint and not learn how to use a version. Because otherwise, every time you upgrade, you're going to struggle with SharePoint. So completely disregard the version that I'm on and focus on the basics that I want to show you as to how SharePoint fits together. Now, if I go to SharePoint in my office.com portal, I can, of course, access any of the sites that I want to work on. Um, the new modern sites looks a little bit different to, uh, to the older sites, but uh, don't focus on what the site looks like at the moment. What is important is that a SharePoint site has a landing page. Here's my home page. It has site contents. So if I go to site contents, it shows what's in the background and um, it's got different apps on it as well. So there's different apps that you can do things um, with. It's not just the place to store documents. So if I go to the settings wheel there, I can see site contents and I can see add an app. Again, be a reminder based on the version that you have, the button might sit somewhere else. Just take it slow, figure out where it is and don't focus on the version. Focus on being able to understand how SharePoint works. Now, if I look at this environment, then I've got pages, I've got uh, content on it, I've got apps on it, I can navigate to it. What does this remind you of? Your desktop, of course. So if I go back to my desktop, this is your landing page that you've been working with for years, right? There's, uh, there's my menus that I work with. So there's all the cool things that I can access. And uh, there's all the apps that I can go to. And also, if I go to File Explorer and I go to desktop, this is my site content. So um, this is exactly where all my content is stored. And that's exactly the same as SharePoint, to be quite honest. But the difference now is, is that you can now share your desktop with other people. So it's a place where you can work together, of course, and, uh, and find things and share things with other people. So SharePoint obviously then consists of um, the pages that you need to navigate to the different content. So it's a website, but think like your desktop. It's got a home page. It's got site contents, just like your PC does, Windows button E. It's got different apps on it, exactly the same as your PC. So when you install Windows on your PC, you normally get a couple of apps with it already. If I think of using paint or snipping tool or all of those things, but then we can add our own extra apps as well, of course. I can go and install Windows, I have Office on it, and I can install other programs on it, like Adobe, Acrobat Reader or something. Same concept as SharePoint, okay? So um, in SharePoint as well, pages, different apps that we can work with. Now, um, if I just use SharePoint for storing documents on it, it's pretty much the same concept as use, just using a USB stick. And there's so much more that you can do um, with it than just store documents on it. So I'm going to really, really try my best over the next couple of videos to take you through the basics of what it is that SharePoint offers us and, uh, and how we can actually use this in our companies for the different areas whether we have to communicate or collaborate or uh, share content with people or work on business processes. So uh, again, SharePoint has uh, landing pages. It's got different pages as well to share content. It's got apps in it similar to what your PC does. It's got a, a site content, which is similar to your file explorer. So uh, let's take a look over the next couple of videos. And uh, in every little one, I'll share a small little piece of information with you that you can take home and go and make sense of it.